So Paul's getting pretty close to his check ride. Things are looking good. And we recently went out to Byron to check in on a few things, one of which was short field landings. Byron traffic, white skyhawk 4587, turning down with the 30 Byron traffic. Good, and up to Tower B. Can you give me a short field landing on the white marks? On those second white marks? Yeah, the ones right by the taxiway there. We'll have a go. Okay, good. Okay, down with the park traffic, white ball, turn your final runway 31. Okay, so what's wrong with this picture? How do I know right away that Paul is gonna miss his spot? Looking at his aiming point, he's aiming for the spot that I asked him to hit. But even at this slower airspeed, there is going to be some float, so you have to aim at some point in front of the spot you wanna hit. Part of your job in practice is to calibrate the float at this new airspeed to make sure that you can select an aiming point that will allow you to hit the spot you've been asked to hit. Up and break is a very important part of the short field, okay? All right, um, we're gonna do a short field take off. All right, let's take another look at that and break it down a bit. But first, reviewing the ACS, here is the meat and potatoes of the skills section. You have to fly a stabilized approach at the recommended airspeed, you have to maintain directional control through the landing, and you have to hit a spot as specified by the examiner minus zero plus 200 feet, okay? That is, you have to hit it can't be early and you can't float more than 200 feet. Also, don't fail to notice this little bit here at the bottom that says if you see that you can't make it, execute a timely go around. That's perfectly acceptable and very real world. So let's look at Paul's approach one more time. His airspeed is right on the money. He's not pitching to hold his mark in his sight picture, but it is held fairly constantly. So everything's looking good so far. If he lands over the center line and straight, this will be a good approach. The problem is he's aiming for the spot that I asked him to hit, so there's no way to hit it. There is gonna be some float at the end of this, and let's watch it. Okay, here comes the power reduction. There goes the spot. That's 200 feet, 400 feet. Here we get touchdown six or 700 feet past the spot he was asked to hit. All right, let's see if we can't fix that. It's very simple. The approach looked great. He just needs to move the aiming point closer. So on the way home, we decided to stop at Livermore to give it one more shot. And uh, well, it's nine miles to the northeast is the position report. Okay, good. Livermore Tower, Cessna 458 Sierra Papa with Quebec, nine miles to the northeast of the field inbound for pattern work. Cessna 458 Sierra Papa, Livermore Tower. Make left traffic, runway 7 left, ident. Left traffic to 7 left, and ident 458 Sierra Papa. Alright, pro tip on your landing. There were two things about your short field landing I didn't like. One was, you missed your spot, but not because you didn't do an awesome setup. Yep. Everything looked great. We just floated right past your spot. Yep. If that happens on a check right, go around. Okay. But you just needed one more chance to move the aim point a little closer. But like, if your wheels aren't down, initiate a go around if you know it's blown. Okay. Like, I knew you were gonna float over it, right? So, at least if you go around, you say, look, I'm gonna just go around and try it one more time, I'm gonna be long. Then I know that you know that, you do the right thing, all that stuff. The last thing was, don't let me ask you to put flaps up, yeah. stick back and brake. Yeah, I, the, only, the only reason I did that was I thought, I, I knew I just fucked it up and landed long. Yeah, but you, you know, so uh, that's funny that you knew that. So go down swinging. If it looks like you're going to be long, go around two, three yeah. times until you get it right. That might be excessive. Power, Victor. Pushes and pressures are in the green. Hatches analysis is secure, and we're aiming for the midfield. Turn. Turn 
Cessna 76 top opposite direction traffic is fast in the upwind off runway 7 left is in north turnout. I'm right, looking for that traffic at 6 Papa. Wind 040 at 5. Papa, runway 7 right, cleared for the option. After the option, right cross on departure approved. Clear to 7 right, 7 6 Papa. He does that on the check ride, we're gold. Paul's ready to go on short field landings. We need to test this against a little wind, but in theory, he's really got it. And I want to thank him for being such a good sport in these videos. And thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and the alarm bell so you get notified of new uploads every other week. I'm Jason Miller, and until next time, be safe, fly your best.